Through your efforts, we were able to save almost a hundred Elidians from certain death. As for Lieutenant Pedrosian, well, Duval will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. Lieutenant Pedrosian went above and beyond her duty. She deserves a commendation. I'll see what I can do. Commander Rydek, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Elidia is in your debt. We cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us? Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hatari or Khan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. And I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'll follow your lead. We can keep this under wraps for now. Always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. I made the right decision. And in turn, I hope you'll have my back as well. Of course. Loyalty like yours doesn't go unnoticed. Or unrewarded. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily. And if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. I would have to agree with the captain. There's no point causing undue panic based purely on speculation. We need to know more before we go off half-cocked sounding the alarm. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Elidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. And what happens to the host? It's hard to say exactly. Some of their memories remain intact, but the implanted Taconian identity appears to have full control. 
In time, all that remains of the host may be lost entirely. It's an invasion. One victim at a time. Precisely. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. With the Cartabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transports. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridium infusion. Uh, it looks like I am. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. I'm right here. Where? Before you say anything, I just want you to know I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was a success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Eventually. I, I just hope this isn't the end of my career. Can't be much of a tactical officer. If you can't see what's coming. But this is all I've ever wanted to do. The latest advancements in vision enhancement are truly remarkable. I wouldn't be surprised if you came back better than you ever were. I just want to be able to see again. That's all I'm asking. All right, you two. Lieutenant Bedrosian needs her rest, and you have an infusion waiting for you. I will check in on you soon. I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. The captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you encouraged him. Which was disappointing when you showed you were willing to defy the captain by reversing whole polarity back at Starbase. You've spent enough time with him now, seen enough of how he runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano, I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. Monitor your Deridium levels. 
I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. You're welcome. Just doing my job. I'll never forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. It's always better to know. No matter how awful, the truth is better than living with a lie. I am coming around to that thinking as well. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? For how uptight the Illidians are, the cargo bay is kind of a mess. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Airtight and climate controlled. Must be where they put the precious cargo. Up there? All right. Edsilar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! One left. comes. It works. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda... Don't give up on her yet, Carter. She had you in her sights, and she didn't shoot. 
That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her. Not completely, at least. She must still feel something. That is a reason to hold out hope. And a reason to remember the Takan haven't just hijacked this ship. They've hijacked every body they're in. I know she played us, used her sympathies, your relationship to break out of sickbay. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. You better watch your tone, buddy. We risked a hell of a lot to come help you. And our crewmates were injured, killed, in the process of rescuing yours. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control, propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Ah. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. Long way from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is all right back there. The Zeldi. That's where we are. That's not exactly news. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems. But it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. So that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? Itasker. Is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? 
shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. You better be right about this. If I suspect something is amiss, I'll deal with the Tosca myself. Remind me not to get on the bad side. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes.